Morning legends! It is Saturday morning and I'm on my way to coaching. Johnny is driving me. Uh, we had a fun night in Melbourne last night, catching up with a lot of old friends from Alice Springs, from where I used to live, where I grew up, so always good to catch up with old friends. Now I've got three coaching sessions today, three guys, um, or actually four, sorry, two of them. Uh, the last session is twins, so looking forward to meeting them. So getting back into the coaching and then um, having a nice casual afternoon with my mum. Shape looks good. All I would say, like your bat swing's excellent. All I'd say is sometimes your weight just sits a little bit back. So you've got to really get off that heel and try and bend that front knee and get your weight over into the front, into the shot. I want you to be positive. Look to hit the ball. Yeah, I would, I would suggest I would suggest that you'd leave, you should leave that ball. Yeah. There's no, you're just hanging it out there. Yeah, so, so try and bat now like it's a game. So if you would leave it, leave it. Shot. Well played. I, I think you're slightly going this way and then you land and you have to go around your pad which is what we spoke about before. That's why the on drive's so hard. Because as soon as you go this way, you then have to go round your pad. You can't actually access that area. So just really be conscious. And like you say, it's always the thing you're working on. Conscious on your, of your head being still. I think, I think you're taking too big a step sometimes as well. And your weight sits back here and then you just, you're limiting yourself by being with your weight back and too big. Yeah, rather than being in here, yeah. weight forward off your heel, and then if you wanted to, you could even punch it rather than just blocking it. When you're here, all you can do is block. See, yeah, see that's too big. Move that left foot a little bit closer to your back foot. Shorter step, yep. No, no, so in your stance, do your stance, normal stance. Okay, now go forward for four defense. Okay, that's it. Now, that weight, you should, if you go, leave that there and bring that left foot back a little bit. A little bit. No, 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 no. Bring that whole leg back a bit. That's, yep, yeah, okay. Now go forward, again, about there, okay? Now get off your heel, get off your heel. That's it, and now both hands on the bat. That will allow you, if you get, if you get right off the heel, keep your knee side on, so you, you'll learn that position, which allows you now to get your weight into the ball more. Because that's where you get power, is by getting your weight into the ball. But if you're here, your weight's neutral, and then all you can do is play with hands. You can't actually get your upper body into the shot. Just that you're, you've been conditioned, you're used to, and most people are like this, take a big step. That's what you think. But it, when you take a big step, your weight doesn't get forward. So you want to take a measured step, a step that's not small. If you go small, you'll tip over that way. But if you go too big, you won't get your weight forward. So you've got to take something in between that's comfortable that allows you to then get your weight into the shot. So you reckon I have uh, too much excessive footwork? Well, yeah, you step too far, yeah. So it's so, like... Exactly, and then your weight's here, not over the top of the shot. So, it's, so what I'd be saying is do a lot of underarms, do a lot of underarms where you're just sort of working on a short step and because you start with a wide stance, you don't actually have to step. All you have to do from there is like transfer into the ball. You don't even have to step because your feet are already wide. And then it's just bang, head to the ball. Kevin Peterson was like that, wide. And then all it is is just head, it's just a weight transfer. Good. Still back a bit, still a bit here, but that's all right. Sharp, mate. Really good. Nice, good feet. Sharp. Great shot. Nice, mate, nice. See there? Faraz? Faraz, sorry. Faraz, okay. 
that was awesome. That was just you getting your weight into the ball. Yeah. Wasn't a big step. That's all you got to do is wherever it is, is just just get that upper body going into the ball more. But if the lower body is going too far, yeah. it's so hard to get the upper body. Okay, he's sort of jumping. Just got to try and be still in one step. Shot. You're just, you're just more decisive. That's all it is. It's just that decisiveness to get there quickly and then you're in position to hit. Good. Well played. Yeah, just slightly across it. Good. So that's just your bottom hand coming through a bit. Try and hit and hold your shape, raise your elbow. Shot. It's alright, feet were good, you're just a bit slow to make the decision. Have to, in this day and age, you don't have to go back and across the pool. If, you, if, you're, if you're defending, driving, cutting or whatever, you, you want to get back and across. But if you're pulling, it's more just getting your weight back. Because this is actually slower. By going, it gives you a fraction more time, but it's slower to do it. So if you're here and you're looking to come forward and you see it short, all you really need to do is transfer back. Just transfer back. You don't want to go too far. You just need to keep your weight, but it's just sort of like... So don't get caught up that you have to get there and... Yeah? Yeah, and that one that you smashed, sort of the short arm jab, that wasn't a big... That was more just like, oh, there it is, bang. Okay, that's the one where your bottom hand's just trying to do it, rather than just hitting with shape. So try and just hit it straight into the ground using your left side. Whack. Shot boy. Good. Good. Shot. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Come down in for a sec. That was a lovely shot. Bottom hand through. Something that... I sort of say to players is thinking about having a semicircle around you yep. and trying to hit the ball so it bounces in the semicircle. That means you're hitting it late and with an angled bat. You hit that beautifully, but it sort of went knee high yeah. into the net. If you're slightly off with your timing or the wicket holds up a fraction, you're hitting that in the air. So you, cause you're contacting it sort of out here. So really always think whether it's sort of a back foot punch or a front foot shot, try and bounce it into the ground. Yeah, sure. And that's where Aussies get in trouble when they go and play in England, because we play on these hard, fast wickets, yeah. where you can just sort of, yeah. you can just go like that, and the ball can race sort of knee height over to short cover and then off for four. But you go to England, it's a bit slower of swings, and you're out here, you're nicking off. And this is something Chris Rogers ta taught me and speaks a lot about, is that space in front of you. He's so good at hitting late and does well in England because it, he practices this thing all the time. Yeah. So think about, you can get away with it in here, but you're thinking big picture. Think about always trying to sort of hit it into that. Yeah? A few more, Connor. Sharp boy. Quality. Sharp. Sharp. Sharp boy. Quality. So your leg didn't get in the way there. And you're able to sort of get your head and your bat straight at the ball. Well done. Shot. Hey vlog, I'm here with Connor and Jacob. Last names? Hines. Hines, twins, 16 years old. We've just had a session. How'd you go, boys? Yeah, loved it. Really good. Got a lot out of it. Yeah, yeah really loved Tom's work as well. Yeah, same as Connor's. Great fun. Just a surreal experience too. They've, uh, they've been watching the vlog for a while, so I, they um, connected through Instagram last week when I said I was in Melbourne, so great to have them in here and, and pass on a, a few tips to them. They're uh, very 
highly skilled players and I've got no doubt they're going to do very well in the future, so keep an eye out for them. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, legends. Just packing up here at my mum's house, went out for a lovely lunch. I uh, really needed that steak sandwich, it was delicious. Just packed up, I am heading back to Perth this evening. I'm going to surprise Mrs S. She thinks that I'm getting back on Monday morning and so I've told her this afternoon that I'm going to the footy um, and then I'm going to spend tomorrow with my mum but I'm going back a couple of days early so I'm going to get there tonight and surprise her so looking forward to that. It's been a wonderful time here in Melbourne, great to connect with people and great to spend a lot of time with my mother who is here. Shorter than Tom. You're beauty. Just about to board the plane, Melbourne, you've been epic. Your legends, and I can't wait to get back again soon. Now it's time to get back to Perth after three weeks and see Mrs. S. I cannot wait. <laughs>